Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do a reading for you. And this reading is going to be the next 48 hours. So let's go ahead and get into this. Asking your spirit team to join us. If you're looking for a personal reading, I can be contacted in the description box below is an email address. And yes. All right. So let's get going now. Um, opening up to your spirit team, to your angels, uh, to get some messages. It's always for your highest good. That's always the intent. Tell me um, some messages here for Aries. Next 48 hours. I think that one wants to come out. That's nice. Three, benefactor. Grace and generosity. Number three, you could be giving or receiving gifts too. From somebody or supporting somebody's um, art or craft. So the energies can go vice versa, but I mean, looks they look so sweet and happy on the top of a mushroom here. Benefactor, grace and generosity. And it looks like it's wanting to go like that. Um, that would be cool, actually, because it looks like it kind of goes together. Um, possibly this is saying that somebody sees... Um, the whole you, a complete you, that includes the disowned self, but they still like what they see. They, they like you, like, for what you are. And, and a little bit of that is coming in, which is, it's going to be a strange vibe because it might be hard to accept some parts of ourselves. And that would be that shadow work. <clears throat> but this benefactor... Um, can see through uh, lots of things and, and sees the you for you, including the parts that maybe we think are in the root system, but not quite, right? We think it's an unseen, but as above, so below. So there's some kind of comforting, comforting like energy to that. Fortune's wheel on the bottom, luck and right timing. Luck and right timing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're, we're going to go a little bit more. Let's, um, well, let's pull from the uh, Kipper deck. It's always pretty interesting. Yeah, look at that. And look at these colors, too. Look at that. That's coming from this person or this energy. It's all about gifting something to you or gifting something to someone, supporting somebody with no judgment. This person, at least, is not judging you in that sense. You are judging yourself more harshly. You're the one having an issue with acceptance versus somebody else. I mean, that's just the message. I'm sorry the way it's coming across. I hope it's coming across better than it feels like it is right now. But it's a good thing. But it's just that it's like somebody sees more in you than what you see in yourself. Um, and then so they're going to make it known or apparent. Um, you should have... Or be expecting some gifts, too. So, let's see what we've got for the energies. Let's do the energies for the next 48 hours. That'll be good enough. And then we'll know how to handle them. Um, past energy. Let's start with the past. I feel like we should start with the past. Here, I know how I'm going to do it. Because it'll take forever if we take just jumpers. It will take forever forever they, oh and, but then you want to come out for it. past issue what is keeping you grounded the 
energy above and the six of coins i see future energy or the outcome which is oh my goodness like just like that wow you have like uh, major gifts and you see how these people um both of the characters on these cards have their arms out <clears throat> um that's showing the ability to really put your hands out in in love like being able to receive also receiving it's like receiving life um so what wasn't fair okay <laughs> so what wasn't fair justice is in the reverse for the past energy and I think we probably need to get a clarification. This is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, by the way. Eight of Cups in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Everybody's got a kid in it. Dun, 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 dun. Hold me now. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. That might be something with that song. After all that we've been through. Okay, so justice, so even though there was something that was not even, <clears throat> or feeling like, um, maybe even upset, feeling like somebody owes you. Let's use um, Rider Waite Tarot Deck. Libra Energy, and it also could be something to do with Cora, since you have the King of Swords or King of Blades here. His hands are out too, not the same way exactly as that, but still, you see these hands offering. It's these hands are offering things. I don't know. It's it's something. It's something gracious. There's some gracious giving here or getting, depending on where you're at. You have the Empress, beautiful energy, cornucopia, getting all that you want, getting all that you need. So tell us more about um, the justice in the reverse. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It has to do with a person who could kind of like really let you down as far as wanted to rely or trust on this person or trust yeah giving given trust to this person but it's kind of um it was something was um or someone was not honest or something just didn't move forward feeling like we didn't get our justice from this it's kind of like a let down that energy is like a, uh -uh. And the sun in reverse didn't have any more energy for this justice issue here. Didn't really have any more energy for this energy for this person's energy, which is one of dishonesty, disappointment, issues. You could say issues, like on the little end, it could be issues. I feel like there were things that d didn't seem very hopeful, and you didn't know exactly what can you do about this. So there's something, there's something like that. We're feeling like we're in the dark. Um, possibly Virgo, Libra, Leo. So, at the heart of the matter, you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You're just waiting for things to take a turn. <laughs> You, I mean, because it's it's like acknowledging, hey, it hasn't been the luckiest of times. It would be great if things could turn around. There's something about this um, benefactor acceptance. It's like these, I don't know, it's like these are the roots, the hands are the roots, all going out in different places, um, finding aspects of yourself, you know, in the characters around you. Um, sometimes that's comfortable, sometimes it's not. Tell us about um, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. The Seven of Cups in the reverse. You've, you, you've narrowed down your choices or, yeah, your, I don't know, your final say-so on, on what you're choosing. Um, you see clearly or... 
it was about time that somebody have uh, get rid of a cycle where they weren't seeing clearly. So coming out of the fog or confusion, it's also being able to um, kind of like balance that mind intellect because I feel like it's 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 saying that um, you know definitely keep your dreams up, um, but staying more here grounded. Maybe in reality that something does need to change. Okay, so you, you're feeling, I think, it might be anxiety because of good or, or, you know, nervousness because of something exciting coming up. The Empress energy. Hmm. So the Empress energy is welcoming, inviting, taking care of others and yourself. I have the devil energy. Maybe Capricorn Aries might have to do with Capricorn. It might have to do with what you're about to receive as far as cornucopia, um, plenty, and there may be temptation with this or within this en energy of plenty. More than enough. The motherly figure, um, the Empress kind of can do everything. Now, the devil energy with Capricorn is like um, very planned, having a, a good strategy. Well, I don't know if it's a good strategy. You know, it depends on how you handle temptation or it feels like indulgence. So like how you handle some kind of indulgence. Okay, so let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Materialism, maybe? I don't know. Tell me more about that. Those are two major arcanas. And they're, um, there's a lot on the, their material. They're both Capricorn. Well, it doesn't have to be Capricorn for the Empress, but it, it could be. Um, two of Cups. That's good. That's um, about partnerships. There is something that's healing with the four swords on the bottom, taking time out, having con time to contemplate. And um, that has allowed you, I guess, to see what to go after. It, it And there is a time, like, like you'll know when it's time with the seven of wands in the reverse. You'll know when something's time, but for some reason this is like, the card of I'm not going to do anything quite yet or I'm not going to stand up or advocate for this person yet but it does like look positive as far as working something out especially with that benefactor too but definitely on your way to healing something um tell me about the king of swords up there uh it could be an expert with some information for you too Queen of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. This is getting getting some knowledge so that you can do something possibly about how you receive, being open to receiving more by taking better care of if being focused on your health for some some kind of issue that requires discipline, um, structure. Queen of Cups in the reverse, you could be like, if it's a person, you could be dealing with someone who you feel is, uh, or whom you feel is emotionally manipulative, like using love to just get what they want um, all the time. I don't know, it, it it can be that energy, but it can also, you know, as above, so below, and as within too, right? So it's usually something going on uh, within. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, Pisces, Pisces, these energies like just don't trust themselves that what that much. <laughs> My words are getting all jumbled. Um, tapping into your intuition might be somewhat of um I don't know. You may have like all intellect, all logic, all facts, or going off all facts, but not be tapped into your emotional intelligence. Your EQ. I don't know. I feel something like that. Obviously, this high priestess in the reverse needs to be more in touch or in tune. Feeling exposed or vulnerable. Um, 
that can be what that card is talking about too. And then we come back to a big message regarding gift, benefactor, and um, being generous. So tell me more about this future energy for Aries here. Um, wow. Well, so it's your, your card, your energy, the four of wands. It's practice makes perfect to me. It could be even talking about how you're receiving your gifts on your way to your next goal. So I feel like there could be a completion, a goal met. There's a balance between emotional intelligence and then, it, um, you know, EQ, IQ. There's like a... There's a difference. Okay, so it's working on those things. Um, the Empress and the Devil. Feels like there's a lot, and there's more than just like one person involved here. Um, you know, it could be your fears. The Devil can represent um, sometimes our fears or something that may hold us back. Maybe from a new chapter. Oh, look, you have your angels. You have your angels. You have temperance. You have the divine spirit realm working on balancing things for you, kind of like in the background. And um, the world, there's a lot of, man, all major arcana for the energies that you're stepping into. And they're like right here energies aquarius scorpio taurus leo fixed energy there is something i feel like it's fixed but it's about divine timing and patience and this is like there's a new chapter something ascending um something that will feel better to you too and i would expect a gift if i were you tell me more about uh what the completion is on what's the completion about for aries Oh, okay. This empress has had to take care of oneself and in order to take care of others. There's either some dysfunction or selfishness, procrastination. There any energy that keeps you from sharing your energy for the benefit of others with when you're in the empress because the Empress energy can um, attract like a cornucopia. So if it's, you can still attract a cornucopia, but if it's towards yourself, then there might be issues with helping others with that energy, right? So that's how I view that. And, and there can be parts of the disowned self that feel like this selfish, um, that would be your shadow work then. That's how I would take that. So maybe this is about your shadow work, accepting the good and the bad, necessarily bad, but traits of the Empress. What worked, what didn't work. And I mean, you end with a success. You end with a success, so I think it's really good. Um, anything else? Wow. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you have the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Wow. And the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So, something about this journey, something about these connections. Major healing something um taking well like we say a time out but healing a situation and then the tower is major change and transformation major so let's get some from um do the kipper deck yeah let's do the kipper deck Let's see what else we can get from this tower. Major change, major transformation. I don't necessarily see it being a bad thing here, though. Main female. Completion, possibly. Tra change, transformation, and healing. 
They're both holding the roses. That's funny. High honor. It's in the reverse. It has to do with this Empress energy being in the reverse and feeling like somebody let you down. It's the same person that the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse was representing in the past. Mm-hmm. Owning this part about this situation or person is a part of the healing. <laughs> Mature man. Mature man. In the reverse, meaning that there's an issue that's still going on that needs a completion. With coffin in the reverse, it's about, yeah, putting, it's about something that's major change, and but it's in the middle of some kind of change or transformation. So it's still a transformation still going on. Yeah, okay, so let's pull from this opposition tarot and see anything else wants to come in regarding change, transformation, and new chapters. Justice, almost in the reverse, just like your past energy here with justice. Something being made fair, Reciprocity. King of Wands. This is about healing and building, and it's usually successful when you see it uh, come up like that. Could be Leo energy, but it is viewed as being like very passionate, inspiring, um, masterful builder, master builder. And then there's strength, and there's another card, Leo, Leo, Libra, strength card. This is going to say that this will be tough, but you can do it to have the strength and confidence. Three swords, time to put the hurt in the past. Um, take the knowledge and turn that into wisdom. Ace of Swords, creating a new opportunity for you. Just in life in general, I feel like. And that's what I've got for your reading, guys. This is um, it's a good reading. Next 48 hour, kind of intense for that. We'll get um, this deck. Your Oracle Genetic Gifts. Lightworker. Oh, wow. You have Lightworker and Starseed. That's so interesting. Lightworker and Starseed. Hmm. Dark Knight of the Soul. That might make sense to somebody feeling that heartache or loss. Starseed, empathetic, psychic, healer, knows purpose. And then Lightworker, awakened, healer, teacher, leader, truth seeker. That's interesting. Um... Let's pull, let's pull another card to wrap up the reading, though, with, can I close with? Okay, so we're going to close with that. We're going to close with this love um, and relationships affirmator or affirmators. I don't know. <laughs> These are cute. Initiative. Oh, that's bright. Step right up. You're being awarded a boost of initiative. <laughs> this potion, potent potion will give you the gusto you need to move your life in a previously unexplored direction. If you're in a relationship, it's time to take initiative and make some interesting plans for you and your partner. If you're not in one, it's time to reach out to old friends, go on adventures, and potentially meet some new cohorts. Either way, this great journey is beginning with one small step. 
or one short text or whatever. I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And then support. I look at the vast network of support in my life and it reminds me of what a superpower it gives me. At any moment, I could call on an army of top-notch people who want the best for me, which basically means I'm invincible. Take that loneliness. It says run for the hills, boredom. I'm sorry, what did you say to me? Pervasive, all-consuming anxiety? Damn right you didn't. Hmm. <laughs> On the bottom is independence. I embrace total independence and I see how empowering that is. Even when I'm in a relationship, I can still be independent by meeting my own needs and creating my own happiness. When I do that, I'm the fullest version of myself and I have much more me to give without needing pieces of me in return. That's deep. Well, that's what I've got for you. Aries, sending you light and love. Bye.